welcome you back to In Focus. Now, Africans are rallying behind the continent's sole World Cup survivor, Ghana. The Black Stars won an exciting 2-1 overtime match against the U.S. on Saturday. The U.S. team's loss was certainly a disappointment for many, but for Ghanaians and many Africans, the excitement of winning was hard to contain. The moment the whistle sounded, signaling the end of the match, the reaction at this Ghanaian restaurant in Virginia was explosive. Ghana is the third African country to make it this far to the World Cup since Cameroon in 1990 and Senegal in 2002. The mostly Ghanaian fans here say they're full of pride for their team, country and continent. We are the Black Stars of Africa. Every, every, all, all eyes is on Ghana right now. Like, we, we are the shining, we, we, we are like on the hill, shining above all Africa, you know? Yeah. Actually, my prediction was that it would go 2 or 4 1. Yes, there's no doubt. We, we, we've always been the masters. Women are outnumbered by the men in this room, but their display of excitement clearly equals theirs because it's all about the game. This I got from Ghana, this I got from Ghana, the earrings I got from Makala Market in Ghana, my shoes, let me show you my shoes, I got from the mall, earrings, bracelet, yeah, so they came from different places, all to support Ghana. This is not the first time we've been in the World Cup and everybody's happy back home and those of us here too. So if we've won, it's a great thing, so we all celebrate, it's really good. <laughs> This is Ghana's second World Cup bid, and the conviction here is that it won't be the last. This is for Africa. This one, this one, this Africa. I think this one is more for Kwame Nkrumah and his, we have a dream. Yes. We have a dream. One could easily think this is an Independence Day celebration when counting the number of times the name Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana's first president, is mentioned. They say his presence lives through soccer and everywhere else Ghana leaves its mark. The first president of Ghana said the independence of Ghana is it meaningless is, unless it's a total liberation of Africa. Exactly. And that's what we're seeing right now. Ghana is the only, only, only country, country, the only African team in the World Cup. Who won't win the World Cup? Ghana! Fidelis Iobote of Nigeria authored the book The Untold Stories of the World Cup Soccer Championships to stress soccer's unifying qualities in bringing people of all different backgrounds together. Only the best is good for Africa. And, you know, we are so proud today. I'm a Nigerian and I'm here rejoicing with Ghanaians because it's a way you remember the legacy of Nkrumah and what he did for Africa. Ghana faces Uruguay next, and of course, which country will take home the coveted Golden Cup is everyone's guess. But listening to this crowd, you'd wonder why you even ask. We're taking the cup over there. Trust me. Trust me. Hey, can I add one more? Trust me. I mean it. Well, there was, of course, a little bit guilt here for not supporting the U.S. because many people obviously live in this country. But many say the U.S. was good, but just that Ghana happened to be the stronger team. First, you, a good job you did oh, there. Oh, well, thank you. That it was, was a great Can you imagine just being in an environment where people are screaming, yeah. shouting, That was the so place excited. to be. That was the yes, place to be was, on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Great. So, Makori, obviously, you're happy because That's my you always I mean, used to say Ghana, Ghana, it's the Black Ghana, Stars. It's a, it's a good team. They have uh, the kind of uh, play that I think mm. uh, promises to deliver the World Cup. I probably have more confidence in them than they have in themselves. If they can get past Uruguay and they have enough time to prepare yeah. for that, I could see them in the finals. Well, you know, if you heard some of the people in there, they're, they're already there. They've they're already won the there. World Cup. Soccer is very unpredictable. Yeah. But they are, we wish them well. We yeah. do. Yeah, don't we?